Hey there, I want to show you how you can easily make an Ama Piano type beat for Charlie Pop using only stock plugins in FL Studio. So if you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is set our tempo. I'm going to right click, come right here, type in value. I'll be using 115 um, BPM. And then I'm going to come to the Ama Piano resource pack. You can get the link it's in the description. It has all you need from drums to melody presets for stock plugins in FL Studio. So I'm going to come right here to the resource pack and then head straight to drums because I want to work on drums first. Then we're going to come to kick. So let me use this, bring this in here, create a simple pattern. Then let's go to rim shots. Okay, I like this. So I'm going to bring this in here. You can see you have loads of rim shots to choose from. So if you have this, if you ever come across this issue where what you hear from the browser is not the same as what you hear in the channel rack. It's real easy to fix. Click this, come right here, and just come to C5. It's a common issue with FL Studio with some sounds. So now all you have to do is create a simple pattern. I want my, my rim shot to be dry. I don't want any ambience. I'm going to click this right here. Yeah, then extend this so that you know it stays a bit longer so i can move variation then have this right here again repeat this repeat this then i'm going to come to hats just so i can layer my sounds okay i'm going to use this sound then do this reduce the volume a bit then we to come to percussions let's add some percussions to make our drums come alive because you also have loads and loads of percussions so let's make a peak okay i like this guy so i'm going to come right here Then repeat the same thing again in the other half. Then let's have this in here, have this here. Let's try here. Then for the classic, my piano sound, going to trim this out a bit link it to the mix sound to take away the low end i think it has a little bit too much presence i'm going to use an eq and just filter this out then then i'm going to layer my kick with a final perk okay i like this sound after this copy my kick paste it in here although this is not necessary but it can help make your drums sound a bit more exciting now it's time to add shakers let's paste it in here for four bars then go to the shaker section everything you need to make really good amount piano beats is contained in this kit so let's go to the shakers Reduce the volume. Then let's try a, a second layer. I like this. Reduce the volume. Perfect. So now let's head on to adding a snare row layer. Create that in a different pattern because we'll use that in like maybe the chorus or a bridge or somewhere, but it's typical for Charlie Poppy style beats to have those snare rules coming in. I'm going to come to snares. Okay, let me have this right here. Again, fix this. Then let's layer it up with this, copy and paste
Now, Charlie Poppy style beats doesn't necessarily make use of chord progressions per se. What it does make use of all his beats typically have like ambient melodies, pads, you know, all of that style of melodies, but you rarely hear a defined chord progression, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. I'm not going to use an exact chord progression, but you can use a chord progression if you like, if you want to add a little twist to yours. So I'm going to come to ambient and pad. These are all stock presets, FL Studio stock presets that comes with the Ama Piano resource pack. And I could just simply try one of them and bring this. Since it's a stock plugin, it should work fine most of the time. So I'll be using A sharp minor because a lot of Charlie Poppy type beats are on the minor scale because they give that dark street vibe. So I'm going to come right here and stretch it out. Make this a bit shorter. Reduce the volume. Try high octave. Next, I'll be adding this right here and then piano roll still following this but let me try low octave this time reduce the volume next i'm going to add this ambient pad to come right here piano roll then okay Now, let me add the lead melody, a defined lead melody this time. Uh, let me try this one right here. Then come right here to piano roll. Okay, let me use the low octave. that then have this here now let's add a counter melody um again so many sounds to choose from so okay i think i may end up even using this as a bass but let's see what we can do Okay, that sounds nice. Mad. Okay, I think I'll use that. I like that sound. Then have this here. Now let's add a pad. This is coming along nicely. So let's add a pad this time to give it more feel, more texture. So let's go to let's go back to the pad section. And then we'll use then we we'll simply come to piano roll. Let's give this a try. We may try high octave. Now it's time for us to add log drums. Another reason why I like this on my piano resource pack, it has different log drum presets that you can use. All I have to do is come to the DX10 presets and you can see about 10 different DX10 presets for log drums. So I could try this. Let's see how this sounds. 
Let's try something else. I like that, but yeah, I like this. So I'm going to come to piano roll. Let's create a nice and simple log drum pattern because Charlie Puffy does not stick with the same log, log drum pattern for too long. So instead, I'm going to just play this on its own pattern so that you can, you can keep having like variations along the way. Um, I'm going to maybe take this, have like an eight bar log drum pattern. Okay. It may even be longer, but from the eight bar log drum pattern, I can create more variations. right here I can have like your log drum row here let's try low octave nice now um, we can move on but let me also try a slide here and see how that will work Nice, I like that. So now I can proceed to the other section. add another roll again but this time I'll be using like a third beat nice take this guy now let me make it more exciting by making it smaller you can give a different texture different character Yeah. All right, so after messing around with the log drums, this is how it sounds like. So all you have to do is just play around, trust me, there's no rules or format, so it's just play around, go crazy, play with the timing, play with the octaves, let some notes be on the high octave, some notes be on the low octave, play with the slides, and trust me, you have something very exciting. Alright, so after breaking everything up and arranging it, let's hear how it sounds, but first remember you can get this I'm a Piano Resource Pack, where you can make bits like this and even more interesting bits using stock plugins with complete drum kits and log drum presets. So let's hear it sounds. <laughs> 